Far beyond the warmth of the sun, beyond the planetary boundaries where light thins into emptiness and the vacuum swallows nearly all heat, there lies a lonely, icy world that once lived in the shadows of human curiosity. Pluto, long cast aside as merely a former planet and cold relic drifting at the edge of the solar system, has just shattered expectations in the most profound way imaginable. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced cosmic instrument, Pluto is no longer just a footnote in textbooks. It is now at the frontier of astrobiology, planetary geology, and the search for life beyond Earth. Webb's unprecedented infrared capabilities have peeled back the darkness cloaking Pluto's surface, revealing a world teeming not with life as we know it, but with the unmistakable signs of dynamic planetary processes, oceans locked beneath ice, volatile chemistry, and geological activity that simply should not exist this far from the Sun. The discoveries begin with one of Pluto's most iconic features, a massive heart-shaped region known as Sputnik Planitia. This striking, glistening basin, made largely of frozen nitrogen, isn't just beautiful, it's a window into Pluto's interior. Beneath that frozen plain, scientists now believe, may lie an immense subterranean ocean. Kept liquid not by sunlight, but by the lingering heat of radioactive decay and the insulating pressure of overlying ice, this ocean, if confirmed, could be one of the most extraordinary places in our solar system. The idea that such a remote and frigid world might hold an internal body of water challenges everything we thought we knew about planetary life support systems. It implies that heat, water, and perhaps even organic chemistry can thrive in corners of the solar system where life was once deemed impossible. That potential ocean is more than just a body of water, it is a cradle of hope. Scientists speculate that microbial life could be incubating beneath the icy shell, shielded from the extreme cold and radiation of space. Just as hydrothermal vents at the bottom of Earth's oceans support rich ecosystems without sunlight, so too could Pluto's deep ocean harbor microbes living off chemical gradients, surviving in the silence and darkness of a place we never imagined might be alive. These ideas have catapulted Pluto into the League of Europa and Enceladus, icy bodies once thought inert now considered potential havens for life. If life does exist within Pluto, it would be an astonishing testament to the adaptability of biology, a declaration that life does not merely tolerate extremes, it may be born in them. Even Pluto's surface, long thought to be a frozen wasteland, has betrayed signs of astonishing vitality. Towering mountains sculpted from water ice stretch as high as Earth's rocky mountains. Smooth plains ripple across the landscape, absent of impact craters, suggesting a surface constantly being reshaped by internal forces. This implies that Pluto is still geologically active, something previously thought to be impossible for such a distant and small world. The most likely engine behind this motion is convection, where heat from Pluto's radioactive core causes nitrogen ice to flow, albeit at glacial speeds, reshaping the terrain much like lava reshapes volcanic plains on Earth. This dynamic geology is an unspoken narrative, a frozen poem of motion whispering beneath the silence of space. But the surprises don't end with ice and oceans. Pluto's skies and colors tell their own story. Its atmosphere, though thin and tenuous, undergoes dramatic changes as Pluto swings along its elongated orbit. With each pass closer to the sun, methane and nitrogen gases sublimate from its icy surface, forming a transient but vibrant haze. As it moves farther away, these gases freeze and fall back transforming Pluto's environment in a slow cosmic rhythm that no other world matches. The James Webb Space Telescope has allowed scientists to watch these seasonal changes with unmatched precision, capturing subtle variations in surface temperature and composition that point to underlying complexities not yet fully understood. Perhaps most intriguing are the enigmatic reddish spots scattered across Pluto's landscape, regions that seem to glow with an alien hue against the icy backdrop. These rust-colored blotches are not just aesthetic oddities they are signatures of exotic chemistry. Scientists now believe they are the result of tholins, a class of complex organic molecules created when ultraviolet light from the distant sun interacts with methane either in Pluto's atmosphere or directly on its surface. Over time, this radiation-driven chemistry builds increasingly complex carbon chains, massive molecules rich in hydrogen and carbon that eventually settle onto Pluto's surface. The result is a reddish-brown patina that hints at far more than just chemical weathering. It hints at prebiotic chemistry, the kind of chemistry that on Earth billions of years ago gave rise to life itself. What makes this discovery so extraordinary is not just that these tholins exist, but that they form naturally under conditions once thought too extreme to support any kind of organic chemistry. 
Pluto's bitter cold, near-vacuum atmosphere and faint sunlight should, by traditional standards, strip molecules apart. Instead they're assembling them. The possibility that these complex molecules could interact with liquid water, hidden deep beneath the ice, raises the profound possibility that Pluto might be hosting the very earliest steps toward biology. If nucleotides or amino acids can form here, in this frozen exile of the sun, then the ingredients for life may be far more universal than we ever dared to imagine. Pluto's relationship with its largest moon, Charon, adds another layer of depth to this cosmic mystery. Charon is no ordinary satellite. Nearly half the size of Pluto, it forms a binary system where both bodies orbit a common center of gravity suspended in the space between them. Their gravitational interaction is not just a celestial dance. It generates tidal heating that may help stir Pluto's interior, keeping its ocean warm. Charon itself bears scars of geological activity. Massive canyons, mysterious red caps near its poles, and terrains that hint at ancient cryovolcanism. Some theories even suggest that material may be exchanged between Pluto and Charon during close interactions, creating a shared ecosystem of ice, rock, and chemistry. This interplanetary exchange could act like a biological delivery system, swapping organic molecules and possibly spreading prebiotic ingredients across both worlds. All of this, the ocean, the mountains, the tholins, the dual-world interaction, has been illuminated thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, whose sensitivity to infrared light allows it to detect heat signatures, chemical fingerprints, and spectral anomalies invisible to even the powerful eyes of Hubble or New Horizons. Webb has revealed things we could never have seen before. Subtle shifts in surface temperature, patches of methane ice forming or dissipating, and spectral evidence for organic compounds embedded in Pluto's crust. These observations don't just confirm what we suspected. They open entirely new questions. Why is Pluto so active? What's feeding this internal heat engine? Could there be hydrothermal vents on its ocean floor? And how far has prebiotic chemistry gone on this frozen world? As we unravel the answers, one thing becomes increasingly clear. Pluto is no longer just a dwarf planet at the edge of the solar system. It is a symbol of cosmic complexity, a case study in humility, reminding us that even the smallest, most distant worlds can hold the grandest mysteries. Its surface is a frozen script written in methane and nitrogen, its ocean a locked vault of secrets, its atmosphere a changing veil over a living, breathing world. The discovery of tholins, potential internal oceans, and dynamic geological structures all point to one inescapable conclusion. Pluto may not be lifeless at all. It may be one of the most important astrobiological targets we've ever encountered. And perhaps what's most poetic is that we almost gave up on it. We took away its planetary status. We turned our attention elsewhere. And in return, Pluto has quietly revealed that it is far more alive, far more mysterious, and far more critical to our understanding of the universe than we ever imagined. Deep beneath Pluto's frozen shell, a quiet chemical ballet might be unfolding, one that could echo the origins of life itself. The radioactive decay in the dwarf planet's rocky core generates enough internal heat to maintain a subsurface ocean, and that warmth doesn't just keep water from freezing solid. It creates a planetary laboratory. If the reddish tholins that coat parts of Pluto's surface are drawn downward by geological forces, through convection, impact events, or cryovolcanic resurfacing, and come into contact with the hidden liquid ocean, then a new kind of chemistry might begin. Water, the universal solvent, could allow these long carbon chains to interact, combine, and evolve into even more complex organic molecules. It's in this shadowy, sub-ice interface between tholins and liquid that the true mystery resides. It's where Earth's prebiotic history may find an extraterrestrial parallel. This isn't just speculation. The idea that Pluto may host such prebiotic interactions has lit a fire under planetary scientists around the globe. If such processes can occur in the bitter cold, far outside the habitable zone of a star, then the definition of habitability itself must be rewritten. No longer confined to Earth-like conditions, life or its chemical blueprints could emerge anywhere that the right combination of molecules, temperature and energy exists even in the outer reaches of the Kuiper Belt. Suddenly, Pluto becomes more than a world. It becomes a symbol of universal potential. It whispers a possibility into the void, that life may be common, not rare, that Earth might not be the rule-breaker but the rule itself. And if it's happening on Pluto, what of its siblings? Europa with its subsurface ocean and chaotic terrain. Enceladus, where geysers of water and organic compounds spew into space. Triton, Neptune's captured moon, where frozen plains may conceal similar subsurface dynamics. These icy bodies, once dismissed as inert, 
are now repositories of life's chemical possibilities. Pluto's revelations are not contained to its lonely orbit. They ripple outward, shaping how we interpret the entire outer solar system. The Kuiper Belt, long viewed as a graveyard of frozen leftovers, may instead be an incubator of organic potential. But to confirm these tantalizing possibilities we must return. A robotic mission, equipped not only with orbital instruments but with landers or cryobots capable of burrowing beneath the surface, is now a dream taking shape in mission planning rooms at NASA and beyond. One vision includes sending a lander to scrape and analyze Pluto's reddish terrain, examining tholins and their molecular structure directly. Another proposes a nuclear-powered ice drill, something capable of melting through miles of frozen nitrogen and water to reach the buried ocean. There, deep within the belly of the world, probes could sample liquid, test for chemical complexity, even search for biosignatures. To gaze through Pluto's ice would be to look through time itself, into a place where the earliest steps of life may still be repeating themselves. The reddish regions that once seemed like curious blemishes on a cold, forgotten world have become, in scientific terms, the bullseye. These areas, rich in complex organics, are the focal points for prebiotic investigation. In them lie the dusty blueprints of a potential second genesis, different from ours, distant from ours, but not impossible. And as extraordinary as that may seem, it fits into a broader truth that has been slowly building over decades. Life doesn't require paradise. It doesn't need lush earth-like valleys or warm golden sunlight. Sometimes all it needs is ice, pressure, time, and a little chemistry. Pluto's subsurface ocean, sustained by heat from radioactive decay, bears an uncanny resemblance to the hydrothermal environments found on Earth's ocean floors. Here on our home planet, life has been discovered thriving in pitch-black abysses, feeding not on sunlight, but on chemical energy emitted from mineral-rich vents. If similar conditions exist on Pluto, then the comparison becomes more than just metaphorical. It becomes predictive. And if life can arise in one deep, dark ocean beneath the crust of a world, why not in another? Since the release of these findings, the global scientific community has been galvanized. What was once an icy footnote in astronomy textbooks has become a keystone in understanding the diversity of planetary evolution. Governments are discussing funding. International teams are sketching out proposals. Public excitement is growing. Pluto, the icy exile, the outcast, has turned into a gravitational center for curiosity. Even its geology continues to confound and delight. Despite being so far from the sun, Pluto remains surprisingly active. Convection cells ripple beneath the surface of Sputnik Planitia, slowly cycling nitrogen ice in patterns reminiscent of boiling soup. Strange polygonal shapes mark the surface evidence of a moving, living crust. Cryovolcanoes appear to have once erupted, not with molten rock, but with icy slush, reshaping the terrain in ways we are just beginning to understand. It is an alien world but not a dead one. Its atmospheric mysteries are no less rich. Although tenuous and fleeting, Pluto's atmosphere undergoes complex changes as the dwarf planet swings in its elongated 248-year orbit around the sun methane, nitrogen and carbon monoxide vapors come and go with the seasons creating transient hazes that sometimes shimmer blue in backlighting. Occasionally, this atmosphere even collapses, freezing and falling back to the surface, only to sublimate again centuries later. These processes provide rare, valuable data on how gases behave in extreme, low-gravity environments, offering a window into the atmospheres of exoplanets orbiting distant, cold stars. The James Webb Space Telescope has become the narrator of this unfolding tale. With its sensitive infrared eyes, it continues to track Pluto's temperature changes, spectroscopic signatures and surface shifts with unprecedented detail. It sees the molecules dancing across its crust, measures heat seeping from within, and catches the faintest glimmers of sunlight bouncing off frosty terrain. In doing so, Webb doesn't just reveal Pluto, it honors it. It tells us that even the smallest worlds can carry the biggest stories. What happens next is up to us. The telescope has pointed the way but to truly understand Pluto we must go there. The development of new spacecraft, equipped with advanced AI, cryogenic instruments and long-duration power systems, is already underway. Missions like the proposed Pluto Orbiter or the interstellar probe designed to survey the outer solar system in full, are steps toward a future where Pluto is not just seen, but touched, explored and understood at depth. We may soon witness landers crawling across its nitrogen plains, sampling ice from ancient geysers, drilling toward the ocean floor. One day humanity may drop a robotic submarine into a plutonian sea, letting it swim where no light has ever reached. 
The implications of such exploration go far beyond scientific curiosity. They ripple into philosophy, theology, and our self-perception as a species. If Pluto holds the ingredients of life, if even simple microbial existence is confirmed, then life is no longer rare. It is no longer precious. It is expected. That idea alters everything. It reframes the great silence of the stars, suggesting that we're not alone, only distant. It humbles us while also elevating us, reminding us that we are part of a grand, interconnected cosmic experiment. Pluto, once discarded from planetary status, is now leading a revolution in how we think about habitability. Its complex geology, volatile atmosphere, potential for internal oceans, and rich organic chemistry combine to make it one of the most intriguing objects in the solar system. This tiny world, cloaked in cold and shadow, is quietly rewriting the rules of where life can exist. And still there's more. Pluto continues to serve as a symbol, not just of exploration but of resilience. For a planet that was demoted, ignored, and almost forgotten, it has fought back in the best possible way, with science. It has proven that it is more than a label, more than an orbit. It is a frontier. As humanity continues its march outward, to the moons of Jupiter, the rings of Saturn, the comets of the Oort cloud, we carry Pluto with us as a guide. It reminds us that no world is too small to be important, no mystery too distant to matter. It whispers a quiet truth into the minds of scientists and dreamers alike. Keep looking. Keep asking. The universe is more alive than we think. And if the ice beneath Pluto's heart holds the echoes of chemistry's first spark, then one day, when the right tools land and the right questions are asked, we may find that life, against all odds, has always been waiting for us out there.